Link 2012. Alrighty, hello fellow potatoes! Welcome back to some more Blues Tower defense. As of recording this, is the 30th. This is the day that I pack. I'm recording two episodes today, editing them, shipping them out, shipping my PC. It's going to be a really crazy day. What we're going to be doing in this episode is that we are actually going to be doing the daily challenge. It's pretty cool. Got some 30 monkey monies. Mm-hmm. And let's see what our daily challenges are. We've got uh, military potatoes and... Ooh, challenge. <laughs> All right. Let's hope this isn't too difficult. All right. Okay, so we got military only and 80 rounds. Cool. We don't have many methods to make money. I'm trying to think because I kind of want to go late game here. I kind of want to see how far I can get. AKA, I want to see if I can get to around 100. Um, but since we have subs here, I mean, it's pretty stinking easy. You know, you just put a few subs back here and have them snipe everything in the world. Uh, it's really always hard to know what to start out with, though. I think I'm going to go with this back here. Oh, I was going to go get a... Uh, which one call it as well? I guess not. The good thing about this is that this will give us the hard badge, simply because it's hard with just a few limitations, which makes me pretty happy. I kind of do want to get Churchill pretty early on, because he will give us an advantage here. Maybe we should get twin guns though, I really don't know. Ooh. Yeah, we were- wait, did I never get extra pierce on these subs? I know there's a monkey knowledge that gives us extra pierce. I haven't used it yet, though. Definitely gotta get- I don't know. I don't know what I need to get here. <laughs> Kinda want this guy, because then this will allow us a huge range. And this will also give us all the popping powers we need for a long time. Because if we get Grape Shot, as well as the Crow's Nest, that gives us camo. That gives us lead popping power. And then we can just start investing, sort of? We can start working towards everything that we need for later. So. But yeah, no, so we're gonna see how far we can go in this. I really don't know what to talk about right now. <laughs> Normally when YouTubers do videos like this, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm just a regular old guy recording a YouTube video is they have something funny or some sort of story they talk about. Because when you're live streaming, and this is what I'm used to, I'm used to live streaming. When you live stream, you interact with the audience. That's your content. But right now, my content is me. <laughs> and I am absolutely boring. <laughs> I have no idea what to talk about. Oh, wait a minute. No. You know, okay, cool. I, I'm just thinking about the game, you know? Even though this game's gonna be completely easy, I'm not gonna have to worry at all about it. So what do we talk about? We've got dinosaur heads here. We'll talk about the dinosaurs. I don't know anything about dinosaurs. As a kid, when I was young, if, if I got good grades, basically I was homeschooled for a really long time when I was a kid. I went to school as well after a while, but I think for up until like, I don't know, fifth grade I was homeschooled. I did do third grade at a public school. But it didn't work out too well because I was a really bad kid. <laughs> uh, interesting stories. Um, but anyways, I would, my parents would uh, would buy us books, like little books, if we got good grades in school. I think it, I, I might be remembering this wrong, and it might be a reward for something else. But I do remember they used to buy us little books, and they would always ask us what topic they would want the books about. So. Yeah. Five times, I would say, oh, I want a dinosaur book, and so they'd get me a dinosaur book. You know, I could learn about dinosaurs a little bit. Um, that was always really cute. You know, we could get little books like that, little kid books. It was kind of fun. Kind of wish. Yeah, it, it's really interesting. I, 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 my parents were really good at incentivizing us as kids. I will say that much. Let me think of a few examples here. Actually, let's go ahead and get Churchill here first. That way we get the extra range. 
because I know that his range is just obscenely large. And then we can get some advanced intel over here. Yeah, no, my parents were great at incentivizing us as, as kids. I mean, I was a pretty stubborn kid, too. So half the time, it would just be like, ha ha, you're gonna try to trick me into doing this. No way. Like, there was one time where I, I, I was a really picky eater when I was a kid, right? And I did not want to, to eat. I think they, they gave me, like, a hamburger. They would they, I didn't want to eat the hamburger because it had, like, all the stuff mixed in with it. And I just, I didn't like that. Nowadays, I will eat, like, the hamburger patty. <laughs> so if... So like, you know Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A has like a... I, I like Chick-fil-A. I like to eat my Chick-fil-A. But uh, they've got... Oh, I want to get a good range here. Actually, I, wanna, I don't want to make it too big here. I think I'm going to do... A, oh wait, wait, I can get all three of these areas. It's really good. They've got like a grilled chicken sandwich. But it's literally just... And I get it without pickles. And the only thing it has on it is the chicken and the pickles. So essentially what I'm getting <laughs> is just a chicken with two pieces of bread <laughs> in between it. <laughs> but anyways, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, man, I did not want to eat this hamburger because it was just gross. I'm telling you, it's just completely disgusting and I was not having any of it. Uh, so what I did is I just didn't eat it. And they said, well, you know, if you don't eat this, you can't go to the fair. And I don't remember that part. <laughs> All I remember is the part that it, it got worse. So, you know, they really, really wanted me to eat this, right? I wouldn't. I would refuse. I was like, no. I was just sitting there crying. I was like, no, I'm not eating this. You're not going to get me to eat this. <laughs> uh, and, uh, should I have this guy targeting first? I don't even know. Uh, so, what they did is they ended up just making me, they forced me to stay in bed. So I was sitting there, also let me know how the volume is on this video, I don't know if this volume is way too loud for the game. I'm trying to like overpower it with my mic, but I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so I had to sit in my bed the whole time. Like they went to the fair by themselves and I was just, or carnival, I don't even remember what it was called. Uh, but I was sitting there, I had to sit there on the bed all day and it was just the absolute worst. But I was like, it's worth it. Like, I'm not gonna eat this hamburger. I'm not gonna eat this hamburger. And it was like sitting there beside my bed, you know, getting cold. Well, no, it was already cold at that point. It might have reheated it or something. I honestly can't remember all the details. <laughs> it was so long ago. But, uh, I was like, nope. Nope. I'm gonna sit here. I don't care if I have to, like, sit here in bed all stinking day. I will not eat your stinking hamburger. It might have been something else. It might have not been a hamburger. I'm gonna admit that. I just can't remember all these details. It's so long ago. So when I was a little kid too, this was back when I was like maybe... This is like... Yeah, well, I was really young. That's one of my first memories. That's definitely one of my first memories to be honest with you. Um, but that one I'm pretty sure... So like there's apparently a lot of memories you have are actually false. I learned this recent, uh, like not recently, I learned this a while ago. Um, let's go ahead and get like a supply drop sniper in here. Because I ultimately want to go for that. Harry, this kind of strong. Uh, but yeah, no, it's really easy to implant memories and a lot of people have memories when they're before the age of three and you actually can't remember things before the age of three. So any memories you have before then are actually false memories. And I found that out. Um, so I, I think, I'm pretty sure that I have some false memories about childhood. Not of like any events that happened, but just of things. Like I'm ha I have a memory, I'm not sure if it's false or not, but I was sitting there on my bed, right? This is the same bed <laughs> where <laughs> I had to eat the uh, the hamburger or whatever. And I was like, no, I'm not eating it. Uh, so this is the same bed. I'm sitting there, and I look at the dresser, and I told myself, I'm gonna remember this. <laughs> and it was nighttime, if I remember right. It was, it was it was dark in the room. I was I was messed up, kid man. Ah, uh, long time since that went that all that happened. All right, let's think about the game for a little bit here. <laughs> Uh, stop the anecdotes. 
we're kind of doing all right and we will do all right for a while because we can have the camo detection here um i'm gonna get the supply drop i'm gonna get that first thing but after that i'm not sure if i want to remove the skull and i also kind of do want a bernie stuff because i do want to start yeah i mean if we're going late game we definitely need some supply drops but uh Bernie stuff would be nice. We could get some camo detection in here too, I don't know. But Bernie stuff would be really nice because then it would allow us to do stuff early on here. And of course with that we could go for either shattering shells or heavy artillery. Now, I actually have been watching some other like videos from people that play BTV6 and apparently shattering shells is actually really stinking good. So we might actually be using that in the future. I want to put this as far as possible in this direction. So it looks like we're burning everything. I'm not sure. I just want to make sure we are. Oh, whoops. I have, I can use this. Yeah, it looks like whenever it drops, it hits everything in this radius. So that's pretty good. Okay. I'm not sure what I want to get now. I kind of do want to go for a like elite sniper already. I know that we're kind of pushing it right now. Especially with these regrows hurting us, but uh, I don't know. Kind of really want to go for elite sniper. This could be the death of me. I think our most expensive <laughs> guy tower here is a stinking sniper. Yeah, I hate that I have to focus on the game now. I was having fun doing story time with Link. Having fun doing story time. I gotta get good at this though. Okay, I'm going to New York, right? I've got to be able to strike up conversations and make jokes on the spot and all that kind of stuff. And just be, and I've noticed like a lot of comedians they do that. Um, is that they? How do you put it? They they relate. They they like tell personal stories and they'll make them funny and then they'll draw them into other stories. I don't know how to explain it. They do it so wonderfully. Are you gonna remove this so that way we have these guys firing off now? Um. Yeah, no, so I gotta, I gotta up my game on that. I might, so like, it, it, it's almost as if when I'm in New York, I'll gain the skills I kind of need in order to do better just videos in general and not necessarily, <laughs> you know, the, 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 re the regular stuff I do, which is simply streaming. Streaming's fun, though. I really do like streaming, guys. I, I absolutely love hanging out with you fellas. For any of you watching this that are normal, are normally my stream regulars, I love you so much. I'm always so happy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start saving up for some more snipers here. Okay, let's see here. So I'm gonna get some more of these guys with large caliber. I'm strong. And I guess we just gotta be greedy now. I guess what's the game plan here? We, we don't really need to go for Moab Shove or anything along those lines. I don't think it's gonna be a big help to us. It might be good to get Prime. It might be good to get... There's a lot of stuff that we could get. I'm kind of tempted to get like a village down here that's a nib. Just help us out with that. So close to getting our second supply drop. Boom. There we go. Two supply drops. Booyah. Alright, so now. Ooh, it's going, we're coming up on 63. 63 is the round of reckoning. We do not want to be ill prepared for round 63. Uh, yeah, we're probably ill prepared. Oh, holy smokes, we barely did it. We barely did it. Okay, there we go, we get some more bounces. There we go. So now we're actually whew, surviving. But man, this round, this round is rough. This round's rough, 63 is rough. Thankfully we got the firepower to take down all these Moab class balloons. 
I don't know what we'd do without it. Okay. I'm gonna go for one more supply drop before trying to get something else to help us out. I don't know what I want, but I just know I need something. <laughs> need something against all these Moabs. I guess we could get a Moab shove just to kind of like hold things off, maybe? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is it a good idea? Uh-huh. Maybe? We're gonna get one more supply drop here. Do I have? I don't have this area covered, actually, surprisingly. I didn't even notice that. Okay. So we're just gonna get, like, a helicopter right here. Alright, so guy's gonna be on pursuit. And he's just gonna have some Moab shove. Cool. Uh, my main concern here is that the Moab shove does not synergize very well with most of this other stuff. Although, snipers, if I can get the snipers to the point where they can instantly take down ceramics, that would be great. I'm not sure how good Moab Shep's going to be late game is my only concern. It's just going to be good for stalling right now. Cool. Well, now we're going to stall. <laughs> And get more snipers. This guy's gonna be on first, actually. That way we can... Because basically I want to get enough bouncing bullet snipers, so that way if they all fire at once, they can just take down a ceramic. Which would be really nice for us. That's my goal. Making our way up there. Look at that Moab shove. That's really coming in handy, actually. Although, I think we might need to buy another thing after getting the supply drop. So, okay, what should I get? I kind of want shattering shells. Because it strips... Like, uh, fortified off everything. And that's really sweet. Like, that is really sweet. Could get a few more subs too, but I don't know. I think we can afford another sniper right here. Yeah, look at how instantly all these things are dying. And these guys have camo detection on them too. So they're able to actually take down any balloon. Any balloon, except, I suppose, uh, what's it called? Leads. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot the name for leads for a minute there. All right, yeah, we're getting shattering shells for sure. Shattering shells gonna be a huge help to us, especially when we get those fortified VFPs coming in. Ooh, we're actually pushing it too, so we actually need to slow down. Really slow down. Okay, this is actually kind of rough. Uh, yeah, we're gonna restart that quick, quick. Cool. Well, I'm enjoying this daily challenge so far. It's a usual farm. Okay. I don't know... Wait, oh, that doesn't do anything. Okay, we needed to use that earlier on, didn't we? Whoops. Oh! Gotcha, he was using the wrong ability. Cool. Good to know. Yeah, we're gonna go for a few subs, actually. Right here. I might be tempted to go for a destroyer here, too. I'm not sure. And then what? Uh village right here. That's a nice spot. Finally, these supply drops are paying off. <laughs> cool. 
Ouch. Ooh, barely. Wow, we are barely beating all of these. We definitely need it. I'm glad that we started investing in towers. Because we would not be making it otherwise. We could go for like a big one too. That might be a good idea. Like right in the middle of here, just to hit everything. Or here, because then it hits all three places at once. Could work. Alright, first of all, jungle drums. That's gonna be useful. Hey, I have my fingers over the wrong keys. I'm hitting four instead of three. Alright, let's go. Nib, here I come. Yeah, but now these guys can detect camo from anywhere, which is great. Kind of tempted to go for another supply drop. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. We can afford it. Not quite yet. <laughs> we can afford it as in it will be fine if we get it. We're not going to die. Oh, yeah. Look at that poor. Poor ZMG. Not a chance. Fantastic. Let's go to run 100. Get that free insta monkey. Might go for one more supply drop here before... I'm actually going to go ahead and get this guy to the start of the track. That way he can create detection there. Epic. Ooh, we're actually pushing it. This does not look good at all. Uh, we did it, though. So that's a thing, I guess? That's not good. We need to be able to stall these Moabs more. We are not stalling them at all. We don't really don't have any stalls, though. That's the issue. We can just do lots of damage. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's see here. We can get a big one right here. And I don't know if I want Bernie stuff or not. I kind of don't need it. So we shouldn't. I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah, if we can just get faster reload, that'll just deal tons of damage. Yeah, nah, you see the all the ceramics are going bye-bye. That's what I want. Very, very nice. Yeah, so now the this guy's able to actually stall a little more easily. Okay, but well we're still having a few problems here. All right, I want to get one more big one right here. This will also help us out. Okay, very good. Not sure if we're prepared for the bad. Oh, we're not prepared for GDTs at all. We definitely need something. Oh, we can get preemptive strike for that. It's no problem, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and get preemptive strike here. That's going to be our next big endeavor. So you're going to be our preemptive strike. Very nice. Holy smokes, 37k. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. But I guess that's what you get when you're playing on hard mode, right? It's expensive. Yeah, but are we going to make it in time, though? Oof. It's going to be big once we get it. Preemptive Strike's really nice. 
kind of. <laughs> it's really not that great. I wanted Sub Commander too, but I'm not sure if we'll get him in time. Okay, so this will just take them all down. Cool. Actually, we need to stall. We need to. <laughs> Why am I trying to kill these guys fast? The longer it takes, the more supply drops we can get. The more money we can get. Oh, we're getting close now. We are getting close to the supply drop. Thankfully, these big ones are coming in for us. It's really what's saving us right now. There we go. Preemptive strike. Saving the day now. I don't know what I want to get for damage now. We could get a sub commander. That's my primary thought here. Sub commander would be really great. Buccaneer would be helpful in emergency cases. Let's get a nib, first and foremost. Yeah, let's go for a sub commander here. I mean, I can't think of any better way to spend my money, to be honest. A biggest one might be okay. Like, that's another good thing we could get. But sub commander, that's where it's at. Because that's going to increase all of these subs damage. Kind of nerve-wracking though. 27k, holy smokes. Will we be able to grab that and dive? Well, we can only see. There we go, 6k right there. I don't know what else does damage to big balloons. Because we can't really get a helicopter because it's just going to go for the first one, right? So it's not going to be a big help. Snipers are kind of decent. Oh, we can get a Cripple Moab! Let's get a Cripple Moab next. Like, I... Yeah, Sub Commander maybe not that great compared to Cripple slash Main Moab. There we go. Finally, Sub Commander. Let's go! Up our game here. Can I fit anything in here? Oh wait, can it not really fit more? Get like one more in here. Right there. There we go. Very good. Now we have all of our subs ready, and they're doing decent damage. But we still do need this crazy cripple slash maim. I think it's top path. I can never remember what paths this is sniper because I never use sniper. I want so obviously I'd want faster firing and then top path. Cool. Target strong. Cool. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have too much of an issue so long as we get enough money before 98 for this guy, Main Moab. Okay, we already have Main Moab, but Cripple Moab, they actually take extra damage from other attacks. That's kind of what I want in the end. But obviously, if we can't get Cripple Moab, we'll just get a bunch of mames. And a bunch of names should do the trick. 43k though. Oof. We can obviously sell a bunch of these before the final round. I guess we can sell these soon. Because we really don't need them anymore. Yeah, 
Yeah, now is like the worst round ever. Okay, let's go ahead and sell a bunch. Uh, how much is this? 43, so we're going to sell like two or three. I'm actually going to use all these here real quick. Alright. Boom. Boom. Okay, very nice. Now you're just going to be a... Target to meet. Cool. Yeah, nah, this is a piece of cake. Looks like we won. Oh, snap. I say that right as we're getting wrecked. Okay. We're alright. We're alright. Let's get some more just cripple moabs. So if we get enough cripple moabs, we're set. There we go. GG. That's not even a problem. It's just a joke. We, we get a 003 blue gunner. Was that worth it? Not at all. <laughs> We're not going to do that again, okay? Because it's 30 minutes in the episode, guys. And we are only on the second challenge. We cannot beat a round 100 on this one, though. This is a four round challenge. Sorry, a four monkey challenge. We have 35k. Oh, bummer. Okay. This is the worst. Obviously, you would need this. We have a few of- oh, well the- ah, this is a piece of cake! What are you talking about? Easy peasy. And then just get a few of these guys. Yeah, GG! GG! No problem. Yeah, look at that! See? Easy! Easy. Oh, they're camo. Oh, thankfully I got bottom path. <laughs> Wait, is this ABR? Oh, this is ABR. No wonder. Okay. I was like really confused as to why this was so easy. Let's go ahead and just get like a crazy bottom path guy. Target strong. Hopefully it doesn't have too much health. Yeah, it's GG. If we've already damaged it, it's GG. I mean, it is going to take a little while, but we won. We can sell too, so if I want to, I can sell. But we're fine. Wait, it sped? Wait, what? Guys, this is a new discovery. So if you use Snowstorm, it actually speeds up the balloons. It must change their speed to X amount rather than slowing it down by a percent. That's weird. I didn't know that. Oh, there's multiple mobs in here? I thought it was just one. Yeah, whatever is inside of this, up, oh, it's dead. What a challenge! Better rewards than the other one, which is obviously much more exciting. Uh, I guess if you didn't know what to do, then that would have been kind of tough. So we got two more... Wait, where did I get this guy? Where did I get 320 glue gunner? That's good. That's good. 020 is fine. That's not good. That's not good. And I didn't even get to say another story. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, I don't know when it's going to go up, but whenever you see this, thanks for dropping by, man. I'm really glad you were able to see this. Well, I'm currently without my computer, probably flying on a plane to New York. <laughs> but hey, everyone, thank you so much for dropping by. I really appreciate it. If this episode was worth your time, please leave a like. If not, please leave a dislike. If someone else might like it, feel free to share. Subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. I need a thousand subscribers for monetization, and then I'm going to run into all the YouTube issues, and then I'm going to switch to Twitch. <laughs> but seriously, as always, don't forget to contribute.